Welcome to our rooftop police party. Among other things. Our second album. It's called Cassata, and uh, it's uh, it's got actually a fairly different feel from the first album, which I think is a direct result of having been on the road for roughly two years since we released the first record. We had more fun during our like upbeat, raucous, uh, fist pumping, you know, foot stomping numbers. So it kind of we naturally began arranging the new songs like that, and because that way when we got to play the show at night, we were like, could really get excited about it and be like, yeah, well, we got this new song, and it's like, uh, you know, we're killing them with it. We're killing them. Yeah, una, pinta. This is our album release party, but it's evolved into uh, something of a, a wake for our record label, j -Dub Records. But I don't want this to be a sad occasion. This should be a joyous occasion. So let's just take a moment to raise one to j -Dub Records. I founded j -Dub in 2002 when I was a senior at NYU with a musician named Ben Hesse. And really the idea was to take high quality, unique Jewish music and Jewish culture and bring it into the mainstream. So outside of uh, exclusively Jewish institutions and into rock clubs, music venues around the country. You know, j -Dub was there for us as soon as this, I, I, I had this idea some three odd years ago. I knew that there was a place where I could go with this first because they do what they do. They were immediately taken with it and they were said, yes, oh my gosh, this is something we want to do. This is Sephardic, quirky, Sephardic indie rock. Like, we don't have anything like this. Numerous times, sort of, you know, hearing feedback from participants in our events, you know, that they never really felt Jewish before an event, that it was the only kind of Jewish experience they'd ever had that didn't felt coercive or like their grandmother's kind of, you know, Judaism. Uh, those moments are really, um, really, really special. And just the opportunity to work with so, so many great musicians and artists creating new, vibrant Jewish culture uh, and to see people connect with it uh, has been really special. <laughs> Nobody, nobody wants to step into J-Dub's shoes. That's, you know, enormous shoes to fill. The idea of Jewish startups is here to stay. Startup nonprofits is here to stay. Um, and, you know, how we're going to find funding for the best of those and the ones that have true impact on people's lives, I think, uh, is an exciting question. I mean, I think, you know, hopefully there's a, a really positive future here, I think, and I think there is. I think that J-Dub has made a tremendous impact in bringing young Jewish people closer to the Jewish community, closer to their Jewish identities, connecting them with vibrant Jewish culture and giving them a reason to want to be involved in the Jewish community. And like this is a banging show with a really good band, with good energy and good people and good goodwill. Aaron Bisman here getting, like shaking his tush with everybody else and meeting good people, running into old friends. It's a good music, like nothing could be better than that, and J-Dub has done that. You know, unfortunately, I, I can't, we can't take responsibility for everything, and while we're very confident that our artists will continue to make their great work, uh, there are no guarantees, and our closing is not, uh, Un, you know, because we think everything that needs to be done has been done in terms of making space for Jewish culture in the mainstream and connecting young Jews who don't do other Jewish things or aren't involved in other Jewish organizations uh, to give them vibrant connections to Judaism. Uh, our work is not done and we're closing for financial reasons, unfortunately. Um, you know, we're going to look for homes for our assets and try to help our artists transition. Uh, but there is incredible need uh, to support this kind of Jewish culture and these Jewish connections. and. You know, time will tell if the Jewish community steps up or not to fill the void.
Woo! Woo!